Be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. There is a lot, I mean a lot of selling going on right now. Should you be buying the dip right now? I don't know your situation. That's up to you. I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice, but in this video, I want to show you a few things. I want to show you some stocks at some key levels and remember and, and remind you that the stock market does not move in a straight line. So even if we're going to continue our way down, there will be pullbacks to the upside. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the charts. I want to show you some of the tools I use to show you where things could possibly pull back to, to the upside. All right. So now that we're in these charts, I want to introduce a concept to those of you that are newer to trading that is referred to as confluence. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with what confluence is, is basically when you have two or more factors supporting an idea. So for instance, this trade right here, looking at AMD, if you watched the watch list this morning, you heard me say, I like the idea of AMD to the upside today. And as we look at this list, you can see that legit everything is red on my watch list, except for AMD, which is two and a half percent in the green. Now taking a look at what two factors of confluence we had, uh, just to kind of like show y'all in the charts. All right, so the first factor is we had a demand zone right here, this gray zone, demand zone I drew, right here from this candle I drew no, from November of last year. So this morning we opened up in this demand zone and not only did we open up in this demand zone, we also came in, tapped this trend line that has been serving as support. So because we have this demand zone, which is a strong buying area, and this trend line that has been serving as support since October of 2022, these two factors working together leads me to believe that there is an increased chance that there will be some buying activity at this level. And like I said earlier in this video, the stock market does not move in a straight line. And as we can see, the market is in a downtrend. So looking from here, if I were to draw kind of a trend line of what the market is looking like right now, this is the trend I'm seeing on the weekly chart. So assuming that this trend will continue, I would expect we continue in here until one of these trends is broken. So we're trading in between these trend lines. This is one area that I would look for a potential reversal. The next thing I would look at when it came to looking for an area for a potential reversal would be a Fibonacci retracement level known as the golden pocket. So if you don't know how to draw the golden pocket, be sure to check out the video linked above right here. But going on, I'm going to draw my Fib right here. And from here where it bought up, I would be looking at anywhere from this 153 level up to this 160 level personally for me to target profits on this. That is what I'm using this for. So remember, this is on the weekly chart, so this would take some time. But if I enter this trade right here and I was looking to get in, you know, of course, it could just rock it up and could just rock it up and come here right away. Or it could do something like this. Or something like that before coming down. But either way, coming out of a demand zone, this is something that I would expect. Uh, look for the golden pocket and then, you know, it comes on and does this thing. Now what you've all been waiting for, we're gonna take a look at the SPY. Here we are looking at the SPY. Uh, let's try to get an idea of where potentially the spy can go from here. Right here, looking at the charts, I notice we have a gap to be filled right here at the 528 level. Uh, we just tapped into demand right here this morning. So using this Fibonacci tool, if I were to play that and the market were to continue its trend, I would be looking at something like this. So I want you to remember that right now on this chart, we're looking at each of these candles represents one week of time. I want you to know that the technicals here, uh, while we can buy up and come back up to here, it can take a long time to make a move like this. This right here is a 3% move up. The last time it made a move like that, it took about two or three weeks to do so. So in this market, if you're trying to trade, uh, make sure we're sticking to the market structure. Make sure we're not rushing. If we're trading options, make sure we're trading options that make sense. Uh, remember, there are other ways to trade options 
There are smaller ETFs that represent the S&P, smaller ETFs that represent the Qs and the IWM. There are many other ways to trade. You can buy shares. That way you don't need to worry about IV. One thing I want to stress in this video is the fact that we have entered a period of volatility, which means options contracts are going to be a lot more expensive. We're going to see much more dramatic swings in the market. So I want to personally let you know that I am a lot more hands off with options right now and a lot more focused on picking up stocks long term because I have been through this. I've been through the volatility. I've been through the wild swings and I've found that in the past that it is far more worth it to pick up good shares for the cheap than trying to trade this volatility and just losing money. If you haven't already taken advantage of it, be sure to check out the Moomoo referral link down below in the description. Right now, when you sign up, Moomoo is offering anywhere from five to 15 free stocks when you sign up. But when you sign up using my link down below in the description, they're actually giving anywhere from 18 to 20 free stocks when you sign up and make a deposit using my link down below in the description. So be sure to check that out. If you enjoyed the video and learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.